Located about 30 minutes from the main gates of Bryce Canyon National Park off of State Route 12, is one of the easiest and most popular hikes in the area, and that is Mossy Cave. Alrighty everybody, how we doing? We are back with our second hike of day one and it is Mossy Cave. It's a very short hike. Four like, tenths of a mile. Four tenths of a mile there, so probably like a mile road trip altogether if you wander off like we usually do. <laughs> it's a really pop it's very popular hikes right outside Bryce National Park entrance. Um and then it take you to a cool little waterfall i guess the only waterfall here in bryce canyon and i believe there's a mossy cave as well otherwise that would probably be a fairly uh we have deceitful name yeah we haven't been here before so we'll see if there's a cave or not dustin thinks there's a cave so <laughs> i'm old now hope uh, that there's a cave <laughs> the waterfall is probably frozen so i'm excited to see that that would be pretty cool yeah let's go all right let's do it As soon as you set foot on the trail, you're going to be getting beautiful views of the hoodoos off to the right. Even though this is a fairly simple trail, if you visit during snowy months like this, we highly recommend bringing spikes or some other sort of traction device. At right around a tenth of a mile into the short hike, you will come to the first of two bridges. The view from here is really pretty, and V spotted something pretty cool when she saw these bubbles moving along under the ice on this flowing river. We've never seen anything quite like that, and it was pretty mesmerizing to look at. So it might be a little bit hard to see with the GoPro distortion, but there is one or two arches way up there. There was a... Uh, a trail off to the side, but it said closed. I wonder if that leads up to them, but maybe they close it in the winter months. Oh, wait, there's like a little uh, side trail right here. Yeah, it looks like there is a way up to it, but it looks like it's through some pretty deep snow and uh, it doesn't look like it would probably be worth it. Maybe we'll come back and hit that one in the summertime. Much like the other hikes in the area, this is absolutely gorgeous in the snow. And the fact that it's such an easy trail makes it even better because you don't have to work that hard to get these views. We are now about three tenths of a mile in and we are crossing the second bridge. There's also a fork here, and we'll be coming back to that in just a little bit. After you cross the bridge, you're going to head up this hill, and you'll find yourself at this sign right here. And you'll also find yourself at a fork. Uh, making a left here will take you to the Mossy Cave, and making a right will take you up to another informational sign and uh, you'll have a good view of the waterfall. It's currently frozen, but still really beautiful. In the summertime, that waterfall can be flowing pretty good. Yeah, so that's the top view of the waterfall. Uh, if you wanna go down next to it, you can actually, where that bridge was, um, there is a little way to go down and you just walk along the riverbanks to get there. So we'll be, we'll go to Lossy Cave first, and then after that, we'll show you how to get to the waterfall. Is that not the cutest pine cone you've ever seen? Even though this is a fairly easy trail, there is still 121 feet of elevation gain and you're going to have to put in a little bit of work if you want to get up to Mossy Cave. Excuse our out of breathness. Is breathness a word? It can be. It's officially a word. We just went up a big hill. It's a, it's a very short house, but yeah. It's a short but stout hill. <laughs> but anyways, we're here at the Mossy Cave. It's pretty cool, especially in the winter. Uh, apparently the water just kind of freezes over and you got this giant, giant icicle. These are some of the sights and sounds that you can find at Mossy Cave.
If you enjoy nature sounds like these, be sure to check out our sound channel called Relaxing Vibes. You can find the link to it in the upper corner right now. So this cave is pretty cool because uh, it was formed from an underground springs and the water is seeping through the rocks. And that way in the summer, it's creating all this mossy, it's called, that's why it's called Mossy Cave. And in the winter, you see all these giant icicles and it's super cool because there's like this blue tint to them. We spent a pretty good amount of time soaking in the sights and sounds of Mossy Cave, but soon it was time to head back because we wanted to check out the waterfall as well. Okay, so the cave was pretty awesome, and now we are back to that bridge, and we're gonna take this little side trail right here. So this small little side trail on the side of the bridge right here would take you to the waterfall. It's frozen right now, so it's gonna be cool. Hiking to the waterfall will only add about two tenths of a mile to your hike. I've seen photos of it during the warmer months and it was pretty cool then too, so I think it's worth visiting it in either season. And as they say at Disneyland, this is the backside of water. Not only is the view of the frozen waterfall pretty cool, but the scenery up the canyon that you came from is also really beautiful as well. At this point, the sun was starting to set and we knew that meant that the temperature was going to drop really rapidly. There's also another climb that will take you back up to the main trail on the other side of the bridge. It seemed like it was a little bit less steep and it made it pretty easy to get back on the trail. From here, it's a short and mostly flat walk back to the car. There are a couple of small hills, but nothing major. And that made V very happy. Before we knew it, the parking lot was starting to come into sight and it couldn't have been a second too soon because it was starting to get really cold. And that's gonna do it for the Mossy Cave Trail. It's really short. Uh, we took a little bit longer than most people probably would because we were taking pictures and recording for the uh, Relaxing Vibes channel, which if you haven't checked that out, be sure you do. So you can take a good night's sleep, which I will after this hike. It's pretty amazing. I mean, for such a short hike, you have the waterfalls, you have the cave. It's pretty neat. I mean, for something under a mile, it's got quite a bit of bang for the buck. Yeah, but we are going to get out of here because the sun is about to set and supposedly I heard something about it being negative one degree tonight. Yeah, it's going to be minus one. So we're going to get in the car and get back to our hotel and be nice and warm. Yeah, not about that cold stuff. So uh, if you like this video, go ahead and poke that like button. Bam, hit that thing and, um, and we'll catch you on the next one. See you later. See you later.